Breathing tube, also known as endotracheal tube, is frequently required during general anesthesia and other emergency situations. Emergency situations involve any major accidents affecting consciousness or other organs, respiratory failure where the person is unable to breathe normally to maintain oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in the blood, or any obstruction to the airway or the windpipe. Breathing tube is typically placed in the operating room, intensive care unit, emergency room, and sometimes in other places of the hospital and in the field by emergency medical response personnel. During general anesthesia, breathing tube is often placed to prevent aspiration and control breathing for the patient so the surgery or a medical procedure can be performed with safety and comfort as priority for the patient. The process of placing a breathing tube is called intubation and this is followed by mechanical ventilation where the breathing tube is hooked up to a ventilator. The breathing tube can also be used as a conduit to administer anesthesia medications. Anesthetic gases are delivered into the lungs from a ventilator and then reaches the brain where the medicine works. Prior to placing the breathing tube, an intravenous line is placed. A combination of medications is administered intravenously. This combination consists of an anesthetic medication like propofol and a muscle relaxant to paralyze the vocal cords to ensure a smooth passing of breathing tube through the mouth, down the trachea or the windpipe. This is frequently administered with a medicine like midazolam to reduce memory formation or cause amnesia. With this combination, the person will not be aware of the breathing tube being placed in them. The breathing tube is placed with the help of an instrument called a laryngoscope. With the person lying on his or her back, the laryngoscope is inserted in the patient's mouth to get a view of the epiglottis, a structure not visible to naked eyes. Then the laryngoscope is lifted up to get a view of the glottis through which the breathing tube is inserted. Once the breathing tube is placed, placement is checked by listening to the chest with the stethoscope and presence of carbon dioxide on a monitor. The position of the breathing tube may also be checked with an x-ray. Once confirmed, the breathing tube is secured to the face with the tape. The tube is positioned in such a way that there is equal air entry into both the lungs. Once the breathing tube position is verified, the tube is hooked to a mechanical ventilator, a machine that will provide breaths to the person intubated. The ventilator will be adjusted by trained professionals to ensure it provides enough amount of air movement to prevent any injury to the lungs and maintain oxygen and carbon dioxide at appropriate levels for a particular patient. While the breathing tube is in place, general anesthesia or sedative medications are continuously administered and the patient monitored to ensure their safety and comfort. Once the underlying reason for placing a breathing tube is fixed and when deemed safe, the breathing tube is taken out and this process is called extubation. If you found any value with the video, share it with friends and family. Hit the like button and smash the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to receive updates on videos like this and other videos related to anesthesia, surgery, child health and wellness. Thank you and have a wonderful week.